Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. Today I want to bring you a very vital piece of equipment for medical. Uh, this could definitely be used for preppers in a grid down situation. It could be also used for everyday use. Um, when you get one, you'll realize what did I do before I had this cool little toy? Um, I'm using it all the time just to monitor what I'm doing. I think it's a good idea if you have a prepper group or a family is to take a lot of readings so you can find out um, what the baseline is for certain people in your group so you know if there's a change if they're complaining of a medical condition and, and you can definitely see that change so this is a finger pulse oximeter this particular one uh, comes from Santa Medical there's a lot of them on the market they're all basically the same roughly for about thirty dollars uh, I've seen these, I've used them before, but I never knew they were that cheap until recently. A buddy sent me a link and I said, you know what, I have to have one of these for my uh, first aid kit. And I went ahead and bought two, and since then I've bought two more and they're on order. Uh, reason is, uh, my wife has to have her own for her medical bag, because she likes to have it set up just the way she likes it so she can find things quickly. I also put one in my search and rescue bag if I go up on the mountain. The reason is this is a very non-intrusive. Basically, you're just going to put someone's finger in it um, and take a reading. This is going to do a few things. First, it runs on uh, two AAA batteries, so very common battery, not, not a problem getting them. And it lasts for 30 hours on continuous use, so using just sparingly, it's going to last a very long time. Basically what it does is it measures your a person's oxygenation, uh, the saturation of oxygen in their blood, which is very important. Um, basically it's going to send a beam of infrared light right out after you put it on their finger, and it will determine the saturation, which is very important. Now, you got to make sure if you're using it on someone, they don't have fake nails, um, and typically no nail polish, but red especially. Red nail polish will show it off, will, will throw the results off. Also, if someone has dark skin, could uh, skew the score a little bit. And do not have it in bright light. Find some shade and have the person you're putting it on sit still. Basically, it's very easy. All you're going to do is basically put their finger in it and push this one button very easy to use and then it's going to give you some numbers my numbers are probably going to be high seeing I've been working my saturation is 97 and uh, my pulse is about 90 91 93 um, which is a little high but I have been working out in the yard so you can put this on someone and just leave it and monitor it um, 98 on the saturation which is good 97 98 and then when it's shut it off just take it off their finger and it will shut off and and it's totally off right now you might saying what what's this going to help me with um first of all it's going to give you your, your your saturation oxygen in your blood normal is between different authorities vary but they say 95 96 to 100 is normal and really you need to get one of these and just do a lot of testing on your own and find out what your normal when you feel good um, and document that and if you have a group or you do a lot of outdoor activities with people document what their normal is and then what their uh, if they're doing heavy exercise or, or heavy task so that will give you that it'll also give you your pulse rate which is very important and you need to know the pulse rates of different people. So if you use it on a stranger, uh, you can, uh, the best thing is just to get a little card, write it down. You can find this, just Google this information, you'll find it and laminate it. And you can put it right inside your thing, cut it small enough. So uh, an elderly person, it's 75 plus. Um, an infant's about 120 to 150, and then it varies in between. But go ahead and research that out. Um, then find out what you normally are at your sitting rate, and then when you're working out in the yard, find out those rates. So if, you're, if you start not to feel good, you can simply take a reading and see if it matches up with your normal readings. Um, you might, you know, have a pulmonary disease or, you know, some type of heart problem or failure, pneumonia, a blood clot in the lung. This is all going to be a very low um, oxygen saturation level. So you can see that normally anything under 90 um, is, is technically or clinically, you know, respiratory failure. So if you're 90, 91, 92, and you're normally 97, 98, 99, you know you have a problem. You will also probably know if it gets even close to 90 because you're going to feel it. You're going to probably have rapid or difficult breathing. 
you'll probably be a little bit restless and confused. So take that reading along with what you physically feel or what other people are observing you. Um, but this is an excellent tool for the prepper, an excellent tool for the outdoorsman. Uh, if you do a lot of hiking and backpacking far out away from medical care, this could be very important. Some of you might not be feeling good. You can uh, use this affordable piece of equipment and, and maybe have uh, peace of mind. Maybe it's just the flu or, or maybe a low reading will indicate there's something else going on. Um, many brands, just find one that's good. I've had no problems with this one, um, but there's a lot of good ones out there. Just another thing to put into your toolbox as a prepper and really I think everyone should have one of these in their house um, to help diagnose problems. Now, this if you're feeling bad and you take a reading and, and your reading looks fine, seek medical attention from a professional. Yes, this is just another tool for you, uh, but always, if you're not feeling good, seek medical care uh, from someone that knows what they're doing. Thanks for watching.